Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to see some basic ideas related to safety management system, which will be helpful for the students who are preparing for oral examination. If you are watching this video for the first time, kindly subscribe to our channel Soronga Oli so that you will get notified whenever we post videos related to my name. We all know that DGMS is mainly concentrating on health, safety and welfare of the persons working in the mines. Although we are having many statutory provisions for maintaining these things, in 9th Mines Safety Conference, it was recommended that risk management should also be used as one of the tools for maintaining health and safety system in the mines. Further, the statutory provisions are not appropriate and site specific. And in addition to that, the legislation making is often very slow when we compare it with technological innovation. Considering the accident in present Indian mining industry, DGMS feels that it is the principal responsibilities of every management to ensure the safety and health of the person working in their mines. In order to ensure that, DGMS is now making mandatory for every mines management to have their own safety management system using the guidelines given by DGMS. To tell you in simple way, the safety management system means, as a mines management, you are identifying what are all the existing and probable hazards in your working environment and in your working operation and you assess their risk level of those hazards in order to prioritize them which need immediate attention and you set up control measures to stop these hazards happening in your minds. In safety management system, first we have to identify what are the tasks and sub-tasks in our mining operation. For example, drilling, blasting, loading and hauling. After identifying the task, we have to identify what are all the hazards associated with this task. After identifying the hazard, using the guidelines given by DGMS, we have to find what is the initial risk score of that hazard. After identifying the risk score, we have to discuss ourselves what are all the corrective and control measures can be taken to reduce that risk score. After discussing about these measures, we have to find what will be the actual risk score if we implement that control measures. After finding the actual risk score, now you have to implement what are all the control and corrective measures discussed by you. After implementing, you should see whether the risk score is associated with that hazard is acceptable or not. If it is found to be acceptable, you can continue with that operation and you frame the safety management system based on that. If it is not acceptable, again you have to discuss what are all the further corrective and control measures can be taken to reduce that risk score. This is the basic process involved for framing the safety management system in your mind. For example, I have done the risk assessment for a task excavator operation. In this, I have listed on what are all the activities associated with excavator operation, what are all the hazards that may be caused due to that activity and what are all the impact of that hazard. This is an example of risk assessment of a task. So, the safety management system means the infrastructure to be developed in every mining organization to ensure that all the activities are done according to the safety management plan. So, the safety management plan can be called as the detailed guidelines prepared by us to ensure maximum safety in our minds. The main purpose of safety management plan is to create hazard-free environment in our minds as far as possible. Our main aim of safety management plan is to reduce the chance that is likelihood and the impact of any mishap that can be caused due to mining operations. The three main steps 
involved in safety management plan is the first step is we have to identify what are all the risk associated with our mining operation second step is we have to discuss among ourselves how to reduce that risk associated with that mining operation the third step is we have to implement what are all the things discussed by us in order to reduce the risk associated with that operation hope this video was very useful to you subscribe to our channel for more videos